Picking up where we left off, in this video we're talking avionics packages and pairings. If you haven't watched our basic avionics package video yet, I encourage you to do so. That whole system is based off of the G5 as its core avionics. In this video we're going to be talking our intermediate avionics package, which is based off of the GI275 as its core avionics. This package is best suited for aircraft owners that have an aircraft that is worth more than $100,000 and they may be flying IFR a little bit more routinely and it being a high performance aircraft like a Bonanza or a Cirrus or something, an aircraft at that level. So let's get into it. We've got four different options and our first one is going to include dual GI-275s. The GI-275s are fairly more expensive than the G5 system and for good reason. It is a robust little unit that packs a big punch. On it, you have charts, you have traffic, you've got weather. Um, it can be an attitude indicator, an HSI, it can be an engine monitor, it can be a dedicated MFD. It is my favorite of Garmin's products. It is awesome. And in this option one, we've got dual GI-275s. That's your attitude indicator and your HSI. And that's going to be the most important thing and when you start building your avionics package is the information that you need to stay alive. In addition to the dual GI-275s as your attitude indicator and heading indicator, I've added a third one that would be your engine monitor. At this level, I highly recommend an engine monitor for safety, situational awareness, especially if you're going to be flying quite a bit in and out of IFR and it's going to give you reduced long-term maintenance costs on your aircraft. Again, from the maintenance shop perspective, I change way more cylinders on aircraft that do not have an engine monitor. Highly recommended at this level. From there, I've included the CIES senders. I, anytime I put an engine monitor in, I always recommend the CIES upgraded fuel sending units. Those are the floats that are in the tanks that measure, measure your fuel levels and many of the planes uh, that we're upgrading still have the original ones in and they are highly unreliable. So if you're gonna go ahead and do the uh, engine monitor, I would also do the sending units standard every time and in this package, or all the packages, I have included them when we're talking engine monitors. Next, option one is including a GTN 650 TXI and that is a GPS, nav radio, and a comm radio. It has a display that has traffic and weather, and it can also control your transponder. This is an awesome little unit, and it's a step up from the GNX 375 that we talked about before. From there, you're going to want at least a second comm radio, and at this level, you'd probably want a redundant nav radio as well. So I've included the GNC 215. This is a comm radio, nav radio. So now with the GTN 650 and the GNC 215, you have two comm radios, two nav radios, one GPS uh, with a moving map and display. A lot of performance and it packs a big punch. From there, you will need an audio panel. I, <laughs> again, if you're going ahead and putting new radios in, I would not skip the audio panel. Um, to have uh, ultra clear audio coming through your headset and out to ATC. So I included the GMA 345. It's a six place audio panel that has Bluetooth capability. The next component in this option is the GTX 345R. That is a transponder ADS-B in and out. The R stands for remote. I went ahead and put it in this package because if you've got the GTN 650 TXI, you can control the transponder straight from the navigator. And that's awesome and it saves space on the panel. And finally in option one, I included two GSB 15s. I put it in all of the options and all of the packages uh, just so that you are able to charge an iPad or uh, your cell phone while you're flying. It's a common item everyone gets, so I went ahead and tossed it in. Option two 
in our intermediate package is going to be the exact same setup. Dual GI 275s with a third one that's being utilized as the engine monitor um, and the CIES senders. But here I've changed up the navigator and radio setup. In option one, we had the GTN 650 TXI, which is the smaller display. In this one, I'm adding the GTN 750 TXI. It is a much larger display um, navigator. It's still just a GPS, comm radio, and nav radio. Uh, the neat thing about the, T the 750, though, is now you can control the audio panel and your transponder straight off the GTN 750XI. So now you're removing two, two components out of your panel and making it a lot more seamless and a lot cleaner. From there, you also have the GNC215 nav comm radio and the GMA345 that can be remotely controlled by the GTN 750TXI and the GTX345R ADS-B in and out transponder which will be controlled by your GTN 750 TXI and to finish it off as always two GSB 15s USB ports option three in the intermediate package is going to be the same as option one it's got dual GI 275s a third one being utilized as the GI 275 it's got the GTN 650 TXI Navcom GPS, GNC215 Navcom radio, and in the GTX 345R transponder, but we've included on this one the GFC500 autopilot, two access with trim. And to finish it off with the GSB15 uh, USB ports. Option number four in the intermediate package is dual GI 275s, third GI 275 being utilized as engine monitor. Um, we've included the CIS senders as always with the engine monitor, but in this one we've got the 750 TXI Navcom GPS, the larger display navigator, the GNC 215 Navcom GTX 345R transponder with the GFC 500 two axis autopilot with the trim feature and two GSB 15s uh, USB ports. Our intermediate package does come with a price bump but a little bit more capability and a lot more redundancy. If this is something you're interested in, go to my website www.spearmanaircraft.com and in the notes Include that you're interested in the intermediate package and which option. Hope to see you out there. Happy flying.